good morning you guys it is saturday i have to think about it for a minute so that is the one real plant that i do have outside in my yard i think it's called a petunia i'm not sure anyway it's gonna die i already know it and i i just know it it's going to die it it's going to die I'm gonna water this thing right here and I do know that I need to replant it because one of you guys suggested that. Thank you very much. I just haven't had a chance to do that yet, but that's going to be next. But I decided, I do have fake plants that I have one here and have one coming on Amazon, but I decided I wanted to have one real flower outside in my yard. And the guy who was helping me with it, he said it's seasonal, so they die and you redo them or replant them. I'm not gonna do that and it wasn't very expensive at all I think it was like nine dollars so if it can last at least some months <laughs> then that's not a very expensive thing so I don't know maybe I'll keep it up I don't know you guys you guys know how, how I am with real plants everything dies in my hands I'm surprised this isn't dead by now I'm surprised when I walk by real flowers they just don't wither and die because I just I'm not good I just don't have a green thumb anyway so I'm painting today let me show you guys what I'm gonna do so I have this wood right here I'm gonna paint it white ignore that piece right there it just came with it because this whole plank of wood I think was like $15 and the guy said well do you want that piece also I mean you're gonna pay for it so I took it even though I don't know what I'm going to do but I'm actually using the board here because I'm going to make a shelf or a bench and I got these legs at Home Depot you guys ignore my cabinet it's a hot mess I'm about to do dishes over there and um, I'll talk about this in a minute anyway so I found some table legs or whatever you want to call it from Home Depot I'm gonna paint these white as well and I know I didn't give you guys the tour of my room yet but I want to finish this and then I will do that so this I actually have ordered a security door for my front door and they're supposed to come put that on next week but I had to buy the locks which um, was okay so I actually was able to take this home and then when they come and put the security door up then I will already have the deadbolt the locks on there and I think I did show you guys this a while back this is just things that I'm going to put in my front area when I get the other fake plant so yeah you guys I'm actually about to do the dishes first and then I'm going to paint and you guys have already seen this in my backyard the lights that I bought and I actually got this set from Home Depot it came in a pack of 10 and so yeah I'm very happy with the purchase um, anyway yeah let me get to painting you guys know me oh and over here I told you guys my counter top is a complete mess so for Mother's Day this was more full than what it is now but the kids bought me like Ghirardelli chocolate and it came with coffee the coffee is already gone and it had a caramel and stuff like that so this I can actually just put somewhere else but it's here and I bought some containers and I got these from Target because I do want to redo my pantry and make it more or organized and I say pantry but it's more like a huge cupboard so I just want to make it more organized and I love these push top lids because to me it seals everything inside and this set only came with these five and I'm pretty sure this is for spaghetti but I did not see any push top ones for cereal so I may actually go on Amazon and order that on Amazon and then yeah but it's a start you guys I told you my counter just ignore it it's a mess I still have this here from when I painted my dishwasher and yeah so I'm just going to paint actually no dishes first oh, sometimes I think I have adult ADD <laughs> and that's because I'm sitting here looking out in my backyard and I was supposed to go wash the dishes right dishes still aren't washed yet by the way I'm sitting here and I'm looking at the backyard I'm like oh I need to hose down the cement area so it will clean it up a little bit and we do have a power hose or a power adapter where it power washes things it's not as strong as like the professional one which I think I'm going to invest in one because the one that we have is it's good for what it does but I heard that the one that's more of a, of a professional 
grade or the more expensive ones can actually get stains out of the cement area so I think that's what I need to do because my cement is looking kind of old and there's an area in the front that it's like looking dingy and I just cannot get that out and I know people paint their cement and stuff like that I don't want to have to deal with all that I mean just leave it as it is and I just want it clean so anyway what I'm trying to say is see even when I'm telling you guys stuff I get sidetracked I'm sitting here and I was supposed to go do the dishes didn't do the dishes yet because I looked out at my backyard and I wanted to power wash everything down so I did that hello Cheyenne I did that and now I'm here so you guys you may think I'm kind of crazy but this is the container that the Ghirardelli chocolates and all that came in that the kids got me for Mother's Day I am actually going to paint this white and use it in my bedroom for like a um, plant holder or to put fake flowers in yeah oh my gosh I'm such in a painting mood like a few days later <laughs> since the last time I vlogged but I forgot I didn't show you guys the finished product of the container that I showed you guys I did paint it all white and I have a spot for it in my room I'm gonna put some like the foam in it and then I'm gonna do like a flower arrangement with white flowers because you guys know my room is gray and white but I can't show you guys anything more because actually when I'm done with this then I will give you guys a tour of my room and I know I keep saying that because of the project that I did but I'm waiting for a few things from Amazon so as soon as those are here you guys will get the my updated room video so I'm using my Carrick of course and you guys know how when you don't use a K cup you can still make regular coffee by putting your coffee in a container like this and putting it in and it the water runs through it I bought this when I first got my Keurig I used this multiple times but for some reason over the weekend the coffee that I had that I wanted to use from Ghirardelli that the kids got me for Mother's Day this would not work it kept giving me a message on here saying that you know oh yeah I'm using a cup that says dad because I just bought it because I just did when I was going through my Ray Dunn craze mode <laughs> anyway what was I saying I bought this let me start my coffee and it worked fine however over the weekend it stopped working so I had to buy one that was for a Keurig machine I found it so weird and then that's the top that goes on it I find it so weird that this stopped working and it was working just fine and it wouldn't do anything anymore so good morning now that you guys can actually see me and sorry I look like this last night I washed and conditioned my hair and today I'm getting my hair done I'm so excited no I'm not going to a shop or anything like that even if a shop was open I still think it's too soon to go breathing in people's personal space I don't know so anyway one of my daughters has actually learned how to braid hair throughout this quarantine she's coming out of it with the skill so she's going to do my hair today and a long time ago i said i wasn't going to braid my hair anymore but i need something done and i'm not able to get what i really want excuse me done so yeah anyway you guys it's not even 7 30 and i'm up let me show you proof i am up because i'm super excited they are coming to install my security screen door today and I'm excited they're not coming until later but I decided to get up even earlier shower um, I did my hair last night but you know shower just get some clothes on and you know start the day I'm going to everyone else asleep so I'm going to do my devotional right here I do have my coffee that I made in my dad mug let's face it I'm a single parent so I'm a dad too I know some people hate when women say that no you're not the dad you're the mom whatever if I'm playing both roles I'm mom and dad anyway what am I saying I'm gonna do my devotional have my Bible right here and then my computers here so I might as well do a little bit of my um, online schooling 
and wait for the guy to come from Home Depot to install install my security screen door. I'm so excited. There was three colors I could have chose from, actually four. There was white, black, Navajo white, which is like a cream color, and then a, I wanna say bronze color. Yeah, I could have gotten any one of those. And I started to get white because eventually I'm going to paint my house gray and white on the outside, like a dark gray and with white trim. And now that I think about it, I really should have gotten a white door, but I got a black one. Maybe I'll change the look of my house now. Not only because when Savannah was with me, she was like, you should get black, black looks better. I got black because of that and also because of the doormat that I have that's red and black and I'm like white was white is just gonna stand out so I think that's why I got black it shouldn't look that bad anyway it's a door so I'm gonna go ahead and start my devotional and then I'll come back later <laughs> oh my goodness you guys my screen door is up I'll fully show you pointing in, but not pointing out. But yeah, it's so nice. And at first I regretted getting the black. I should have got white, but now I love the black. So let me go outside and show you guys. Here we go. My screen door is completely up, you guys. And know what he did for me as a favor, which I'm glad he did. So as you can see, this handle right here, it was touching the window. And what if, you know, wind or one of us opens it really fast and, you know, breaks the window? He put that little plank of wood right there. And even though it's really close, at least it doesn't touch the window. So he did that extra for me and I'm so thankful. But yeah, you guys, I have been wanting this for so long. Now I'm gonna finally put the flower and the wind chimes out and this little spinner. And I know usually when people get a spinner, they get the motor thing so it can twirl in its own. But yeah, if it doesn't twirl, it, it should twirl in its own if it's windy. I don't know. So let's put that up and then I'll show you guys that. I keep tripping over this because I'm not used to it being here. <laughs> so I just gotta remember to take a step all the way forward or step on it. So yeah, but let me show you guys. So far the spinner is up and the plant and I have the wind chimes right there and I have one more hook right there that I'm waiting on my last plant. I decided to just go ahead and put everything up for now. So yeah. So I'm just going to leave my door open because that was the plan always to let fresh air in. And I need to find a door stop right there just in case when it gets windy if we have the sliding glass open over there you know sometimes the door may slam so yeah you guys so tell me what do you think so far even though i can't show you guys out completely this way but yeah next is going to be a screen for this sliding glass door because if you guys remember my little ghetto makeshift <laughs> screen that i put up and i take down whenever we don't need it we had a screen here with like a dog guard then we got two dogs two chihuahuas was not vlogging at the time these dogs completely tore the screen apart and it was already like falling apart it wasn't on that good so it was on its last leg so the screen actually completely tore and the frame of the screen is actually on my side yard when I have someone come clean out my garage I'm gonna have them take that away but yeah, you guys, this is next, an actual screen with a dog guard. And I don't have to worry about Boston chewing or anything on there because he's not the type of dog, thankfully. The weather did not say it was going to rain today. I hope it doesn't. I'm tired of the rain. I'm done. Do not rain. Do not rain. 